Well, in case you're wondering if it's really a spiritual war we're watching, here's this news story. The Illinois Elementary School is offering an after-school Satan Club. The local school district is defending the Satan Club. It's sponsored by the Satanic Temple of the United States. The club claims it will help kids learn benevolence and empathy as well as, quote, personal sovereignty. We're going to the source on this story. Lucien Graves is with the Satanic Temple and joins us tonight. Mr. Graves, thanks so much uh, for, for coming on. So I have to ask, are, are parents complaining that there's an after-school Satan club at their children's school? Some are, but they don't have to send their children to the program. It's available for parents who do want to send their children to the program, and it's there as an alternative to religious clubs that are made to proselytize to children. Ours doesn't include items of religious opinion. It doesn't include indoctrination. It just has a self-directed learning program with trained educators there to help guide the children through different activities and projects may, may that they want to engage in. Where are the Satan Club's trained educators trained? Is there a They're Satan trained through School us. of we've Theology? No, we've, uh, we've got educators who have volunteered with us. We vet them. We do the criminal background checks that aren't required of after-school clubs and haven't been required of any of the religious clubs because we want to be responsible about this. And um, we, we make sure that they understand the curriculum, they understand what we want to do in this program and that they're able to execute that. So, uh, I love your use of the word execute. Um, so I'm, have any school administrators said, look, I, I know you can like lecture me about religious freedom, but you're a Satan club, but we're not going to let little kids go to the Satan club. Is anybody or are they just passive like everyone else in America and kind of letting it happen? Well, that's not being passive. That's understanding what the law is. That's understanding what the Constitution is. That's understanding what free speech is and what religious liberty is. And there's a lot of people who express a lot of uproar about this, and they go to the school board, they complain to the principals, they complain to the superintendent. But a school board cannot overturn the Supreme Court. And well, there's actually, no point in harassing so, them. So, so could there be an I hate gays club or black people are inferior club? And the answer, of course, is no, because the community, and I'm not advocating for either one of those things, but the community has some say in what its kids are exposed to on government property, i.e. a public school. So, so you're just telling me that everyone's just kind of going along with it because Supreme Court. Well, the Supreme Court allowed in religion. They said that not having religious clubs would be religious discrimination. I disagree. I think you can categorically deny religion, but what you can't do is give the government the opportunity to pick and choose between which religious viewpoints they'll allow and but which they do ones all they, they won't. But they do all the time. I mean, you can be suspended from school for quoting portions of the Old Testament, like immediately. You could be, I mean, what you, I'm trying not to, to use profanity on the air, but what you're saying is ridiculous. We both know it's ridiculous. And I just, I just want to be really clear on this, because to me, it's another example of people just sitting back and being like, oh, I guess I have to. You know, let's have their drag time story hour for fourth graders. Like that, you know, I, I can't say anything. And you're confirming that everyone feels that way. They kind of have to go along with it for some reason. Well, people get upset about it. People like you, and they don't reconcile their viewpoints on free speech and religious liberty. I don't know what you're suggesting. I don't know if you're suggesting if the school board should say, no, this is not allowed, and we're going against the Supreme Court ruling that what says What I'm saying is you ought to be allowed to quote the New Testament out loud in school if, I mean, if we're going to apply the standard, which I suppose I'd be happy to live under, we have to apply it equally, but it's not applied equally, as you know. And I suppose, I mean, have you been in touch? I don't, I don't know the New Testament story you're speaking of, but Old we would Testament. defend anybody's right to practice right. their but religion. This, and we're I, and not asking for other religious clubs to be taken out. Look, we're I'm not even for equal access. Right. And I'm just saying the school would not provide that if it were an expression of Orthodox Christianity, as you know. Um, but Lucien Graves, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you.